Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys these amazing ugly sweater red velvet mini bun cakes. I've been seeing so many cute ugly sweaters around the mall and at every store that I've gone to so far. So those sweaters were definitely inspiration for these mini bun cakes. This is a super moist and delicious red velvet mini bun cake recipe. So grab your favorite ugly sweater or shirt and let's get baking. The ingredients that you'll need for this recipe include one and three quarters cup of flour, one cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, three fourths cup of oil, half a cup of buttermilk, one egg, two teaspoons of white vinegar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, cream frosting, and some red food coloring. You'll also need these ugly sweater cupcake toppers and I will leave the link in the description to where you can purchase your very own. Before before we begin our bundt cake recipe, you first want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So to begin this bundt cake recipe, you first want to combine into a medium bowl your flour, your cocoa powder, and your baking soda. Whisk those three dry ingredients together until they are well combined. Now setting your dry ingredients off to the side in a separate larger bowl, you want to whip together your oil and your sugar. Mix for a few minutes until the two ingredients are well combined. Then you can go ahead and add in your one egg, your red food coloring, and your salt. Mix until well combined and continue adding red food coloring until it is your desired shade of red. So I used to want to be a doctor when I was super young, but just the thought of being surrounded by bloody patients and just so much blood just made me squirmish. And let me tell you, this bowl of cake batter so far looks like blood and it's like slightly terrifying. Then you want to add the remainder of your wet ingredients, starting off with your buttermilk, your vinegar, and your vanilla extract, and mix until well combined. Finally, you want to add all of your dry ingredients into your bowl of your wet mixture, and just mix until well combined. Halfway in between, I like to go in with my spatula just to scrape the edges of the bowl to finish mixing everything through and you'll know that your batter is done when it flows off your spatula just like this. So today we will be using a mini bundt cake pan. I purchased this online, but you can definitely find it in certain stores. I'll leave a link down below to where you can find it on Amazon, but essentially you want to go ahead and spray your pan nice and well with some cooking spray, or you can do the classic method of buttering it up, adding some flour, and just shaking off any of the excess flour. Whichever method you prefer, just make sure these are nicely coated in some sort of anti-sticking agent. That's really fancy. Anti-sticking agent? Hmm. Anyways, you want to then go ahead and divide your batter amongst the six mini bun cake cavities and place it into your oven and these will bake for 22 to 25 minutes. So our red velvet mini bun cakes came out of the oven. They're nice and spongy to the touch. Today I decided to use some cream cheese frosting but you can definitely use whatever frosting you may have on hand or any store-bought frosting as well. If you need a delicious cream cheese frosting recipe, check out my gingerbread cupcake recipe where I show you a super simple cream cheese frosting that is out of this world. So I placed all of my cream cheese frosting into a piping bag that is fitted with a star tip 8 be. And now let's move on to my absolute favorite part of baking, which is decorating and assembling. So essentially, you want to start at the center of the cupcake, make your way around, and finish back at the center and push up. Then you can go ahead and add some festive sprinkles if you'd like. And last but not least, your cute little ugly sweater. Our ugly sweater red... Our red sweater... Our ugly sweater mini red velvet bun cakes are finished and look at how cute and adorable these little cakes are. I'm definitely excited because I love red velvet basically anything. The cake is super moist, it sort of melts in your mouth. It is nice, delicate, super fluffy, airy. Mm. Definitely give this recipe a try. You get a small hint of the chocolate from the cocoa powder and ultimately the frosting and the cake complement each other very well. Don't forget to check out some of my other holiday videos including my gingerbread cupcakes as well as my candy cane cupcakes. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be reminded of whenever I upload a new video. I hope you, your friends, and your family have a great holiday and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!